Hi, and welcome back, everybody. Today, we're gonna do a craft project with a clearance item that I had purchased from Michael's craft store a while ago. Now, I'm gonna do a mixed media type of a project and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I just kind of wing it as I go. But mixed media is going to be painting, gluing, using found objects, ribbon, um, little wooden pieces, string, rope, ribbon, um, just all kinds of fun things to be creative and just come up with something that's just your own. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this wooden heart and I'm painting it in a darker red. And I'm gonna end up putting a couple of coats on that. So I'm gonna let this dry for a couple minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the front of this wooden piece. Now I'm not worried that I had red paint in there. It's gonna be covered up anyway. We're going to use some Mod Podge and I'm gonna use old paper. I have got some old uh, newsprint. I've got some old craft paper that has um, words and things on it. I've actually got some old sheet music as you can see here and what I'm going to do is tear these things as I put them on and we're going to do this randomly and cover the entire front. Now I really didn't have to paint this brown but like I said I really didn't know exactly what I was going to do but I am going to cover this and as I Mod Podge over it, you'll probably see that it's gonna pick up some of the colors from the paint because I didn't let it dry all the way. Now I've taken a paper doily and kind of cut it into half. Actually, just tore it. And I'm adding that as well. And I'm gonna end up layering this because I don't want the doily to disappear. Here is some old craft paper or scrapbook paper that I had and we're just layering as we go. I'm trying to cover the original back piece on it, but I wanna do it in a bunch of different pieces. So now I'm just layering some more, and I like how the white on the torn paper actually kinda of shows. It gives a little color difference in uh, the layout as you lay it out there. So I'm gonna to continue to do this until I have the entire thing covered, and we'll move on from there. You should try a mixed media project sometime. Use a canvas, a piece of wood, uh, an old frame, anything like that. Gather up some old keys, some chain, an old picture, a postcard, um, little wooden pieces that you can paint. Um, use your imagination. I've got old scrapbook paper here. Um, you can even see that there is a recipe over here on the side that I could tear up and use. And just let it come to you. And I think you'd be very pleased to see how it turns out. A little bit of paint, a little bit of Mod Podge, and uh, some glue. And I think you'll really have fun with it. At this point, I'm just going to skip forward so that you can see the finish that I have on the front of this going to end up putting a coat of Mod Podge on top of this. And we're going to let this dry. Now, this is a piece that I also picked up from Michael's a while ago. Kind of looks like a little fence. I never knew what I was going to do with it, but I kind of have an idea now. I want this to be a background for my heart. So I'm just painting this in a brown color uh, of acrylic paint and we're going to get all the edges on that covered and see if it needs to be painted again. And then we will let this sit for a few minutes so it can dry. Here's a little tip for you Cricut users. I've had a couple of mats that I have cleaned and cleaned and cleaned over the last couple of years and I'm just to the point now where they're just not in great shape anymore. So now I use those when I'm going to be painting or gluing to make sure that I'm protecting my surface. So just one more way that you're able to recycle something that you're not quite sure what to do with 
It's not broke, but it's not in great shape anymore. So I love them. I have about three of them now that I use often. I did decide to give the sides of the wooden piece a little bit of color. Uh, just seemed like it didn't match. Now I'm using Jenga blocks from the Dollar Tree to put on the back of the heart to be able to uh, raise that just a little. That will give it some dimension so it doesn't look like everything is sitting on flat on top of each other. I wrapped some twine around the wood piece here and tied a bow on it. I thought that gave it a little framed look. I then attached the wood piece using glue, hot glue, and uh, Gorilla Glue so that it would stay on nice because of the painted uh, surface on the bottom. And then I applied the same thing to the heart to attach it. I pulled out some Scrabble letters that spelled I love you and applied those to the front of the heart and then covered them with a little bit of antique colored ink. I found these little phrases in one of my scrapbook collections and decided to put those on and I just tinted the edges of them and then went over them a little bit with a pouncer and some antique stamp color. I then found these little metal corner pieces and attached it using the Django blocks uh, on the underneath to raise that. I'm just realizing I'm missing some footage, so I'll just have to fill you in on everything. The two little wood hearts I painted in the same red color, um, but added a little bit of black to it to make them a little bit darker. And then I have a ton of old, old keys, so I attached that as well. And now what I'm doing is gluing down a piece of chain that stretches from the key at the top through the hearts and up on top of the wood heart and has a really kind of cool look. And as soon as this is dry, I'll show you the finished project. This was a very fun one to make. This is the type of thing I really like to do. When I sit down, I have no clue what it is I'm gonna make. Um, I can start out with something that I have in mind and it'll totally turn out to be something completely different than what I may have had in my brain. I have to say, I think that mixed media projects are my absolute favorite above nearly everything else that I make. I just love the idea of just mixing paint and wood and metal and string and old objects. It, it's just my thing. And I love to put uh, old papers and, and things like that on my projects as well. So here's the final project, and I really like it. I think it turned out great. All of the different elements have dimension and texture, and I love that I could just use my imagination. So here it is. Thanks for watching. Tune in again. We're going to have some fun.